Hello and welcome to my video on the Tonda Bunraku Puppet Troupe. Now, Bunraku Theatre is an ancient Japanese style of puppetry performance. It employs the use of puppet, music in the form of a shamisen, and vocal chanting to relay the story. Now, the two main factors that stand out the most historically in Bunraku is the style of chanting known as Joruri and the puppets. Joruri was first born in the late 15th century during the Murumachi period. It derives its name from the play called Tale of Princess Joruri and the Twelve Guardian Deities. The form of chanting used in this story became the style foundation of chanting. If it wasn't done this way, then it wasn't done at all. The shamisen, and use of puppets, enters at around the end of the 16th century and joins Joruri. Now, around the mid 17th century, the most influential person for Bunraku appeared. His name was Takimoto Gidayu. His technique in Bunraku flourished and became widely known as the best. In 1684, he established the Takimoto Za Theatre in Osaka, and it became so popular that his style of jurori, which was called Gidayu Bushi, became the accepted practice. Bunraku entered a golden age of performance from 1746 to 1748. However, popularity for the art waned in the late 18th century. Gradually, only a few masters refined and kept the art alive. Now, the second main feature are the puppets themselves. The history of moving dolls is quite long in Japan, dating as far back as 784 AD. The dolls joined with Gidayubushi by the end of the 16th century. By 1734, the dolls were so complicated that it required three people to operate one. And by 1736, the size of the dolls were two-thirds height of the average man. A small hall was opened for Gideyubushi performance in 1811 by a man named Uemura Burakuken, the proprietor and owner. And in 1872, it moved to Matsushima and was called Bunrakuza Theatre. Bunraku flourished once again, officially giving the name to the art which we now know as Bunraku. So that's a little bit of history for you on Bunraku Theatre. Now I'm going to talk about the actual troupe themselves, the Tonda Puppet Troupe. The early history of the Tonda Puppets is documented by few written sources. According to the story passed down throughout the years, an itinerant puppet troupe from Awa came to Tonda to perform during the winter in the mid-1830s. Bad weather prevented the troupe from performing for several weeks as they remained snowbound in the village. By the time they could move on, they were broke. So they left behind a large number of puppets and stage equipment with the local people as collateral for a loan to pay their travel expenses. Now after years passed on, no one returned to claim the puppets. So the people of Tonda began to try their hand at operating them. When another puppet troupe came through the area a few years later, the people of Tonda had the visitors teach them the principles of puppet manipulation and the conventions of the theatre. This was the beginning of the Tonda Bunraku Theatre. Now, the Tonda Punraku puppets delighted audiences for many years. The art of puppet manipulation was passed down exclusively from father to eldest son, as were the arts of reciting the text and performing the shamisen accompaniment. Some changes have come to the troupe in the last few decades. Since the 1970s, men from outside traditional puppeteering families, as well as women, have been welcomed into the troupe. The Tonda Bunraku Puppet Troupe is now designated as an intangible cultural treasure. The troupe is now headed by Mr. Hidehiko Abe, a 7th generation puppeteer, whose great-great-great-great-grandfather was one of the founding members of the troupe. Now this is where the puppet troupe steps apart from their average competitor and stands out internationally and globally. In the fall of 1993, the Tonda Bunraku troupe became the first traditional puppet troupe in Japan to admit a non-Japanese as a performing member. Since then, the Tonda troupe has been active in teaching Bunraku puppetry to college and university students from the United States and has hosted theatre practitioners from abroad who have visited the Tonda Puppetry Hall in Biwacho to study the techniques. In 1994, the troupe performed by invitation in New Zealand. They toured the United States in 1999, 2001, 2003 and 2004 in Massachusetts, Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, 
Indiana, Missouri, Utah, New Jersey, and Michigan. The Tonda Bunraku troupe were also invited to perform in Minnesota in July of 2005 as the featured guest act at the Quadrennial Conference of the Puppeteers of America. This is how they stand out from the rest and bring Bunraku to a whole new audience.